Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. We're back at the World Series. The World Series that just will not end. We are tied two games apiece between the 2005 Angels and the 2005 um, Astros. And let me put this right here and we want to change it to the first inning. And uh, we... Well, we're tied two games apiece, and we're going back to the original starters of Game One, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see who's gonna win this game now, um, and really eventually this series. Now, I want to point out that um, the Angels are here in this 2005 World Series replay because they beat the White Sox in my replay, which did not actually happen in real life. So I'm not going to waste any of your time. I know that your time is valuable. So we're just going to start right in on this. The Angels are batting. We are in Houston and we are using the pitcher bat as they did back then when the World Series switched between two teams. And when it had the National League, when they were in the National League Park as we are now in Houston, they would use the pitcher bat. So, Sean Figgins is going up against Roy Oswalt, who will be pitching for the Astros. In 2005, Roy Oswalt was 20-12 and 12 with a 294 earned run average. And uh, Sean Figgins gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball to second, and he's out. He was playing third, he's playing third base today, so it's going to be a 4-3. And then uh, Garrett Anderson. Gets a 1-7, and that's a ground ball to first, two away. So that's going to be a ground out three. And now you got Vlad Guerrero. Vladdy gets a 4-9, and that is going to be a single. So Vlad gets the first hit of the game. A hit off of Roy Oswalt. And that brings up Benji Molina. He gets a 4-8. That's going to be a single. And are they going to send him an extra base? No. They're not going to do that with two outs. So it's runners at first and second. And one out. Or two outs. Two outs. And Erstad comes up and he gets a 6-8. And that's going to be a double. And that knocks in at least one run. And... Uh, yeah, Molina's running, so they're not going to do that. So he, they're not going to send him the extra base. So it's a double and an earned run, and all of a sudden, Oswald just completely fell apart here. I mean, the man fell apart. you got runners at second and third, a run already in, and Orlando Cabrera up, and it's a 5-6, which is a strikeout. So that is all they get. They get the one run in the first. Remember, the series is tied. The winner here goes up three games to two. And we'll have what I think is a pretty, you got to say, it's a pretty sizable advantage. Biggio is stepping in against the Lackmaster. Three, five, that's a strikeout. But let's talk about Lackey since he is pitching. And he's nobody's Lackey, let me tell you. In 2005, he was 14 and 5 with a 3.44 earned run average and allowed 208 hits in 209 innings. And um, Berkman is now the batter. He's playing first base today. He gets a two and a two, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. It's two away. He goes one to three. And Ensberg is the main man for this lineup. He's the one that makes everything go. And he gets a 4-7, and that is going to be a walk. So he works his way aboard just like the third batter did, and that was Vlad Guerrero for the uh, Angels in the top of the first inning. Let's see if... Uh, Lackey loses it a little bit like Oswald did. Lamb is up and he gets a 5-4 and that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. And he is a 2 and that is a 1 and that's going to be a single 2. I believe that's a single 2. Let's check it though. Let's just check it for sanity. Uh, let's see. Third base. He is a 2 and that was a 1. No, it's a single 1. So... 
So that is a one base single. Moves Ensberg to second. Lamb with the base hit. Lamb, of course, playing in place of the injured Jason Lane, who was injured last game, if you recall. And that brings up Palmero, and he gets a 2 8, which is a line out to second base. So that is going to be it. That ends it for Houston. They were trying to match California run for run. But they couldn't do it. So we go to the top of the second. And uh, let's see. we got to change that. Not that you could probably even see this. But if you can. Well, hey, more power to you. It's one nothing in the, going into the top of the second with Finley up. He gets a 6-8. That is going to be a single. So Finley ripping a single. And the Angels are just not going away. I mean. They are all over Oswald. They might want to consider, Phil Garner may want to consider going to the bullpen early in this one. That's a walk for his tourists. So with the pitcher up and runners at um, first and second, um, they are going to, you know, I really, really hate sacrificing. I hate it. But they're going to do it anyway. And that is a seven, and I think it worked. I think the sacrifice works. Battery storm, first baseman runs advance, one base. So now runners are at second and third. And there is only one out, and um, that brings up Figgins. They are going to just pitch to Figgins. It's early in the game. 2-6, and that's a walk that loads the bases. And I was going to say, I was even actually thinking of walking Figgins just to load the bases and set up the double play, but Oswald did that for me. So, with the bases loaded and one down, Garrett Anderson is up, and he gets a 6-10, and that is going to be a ground ball C. And the infield was not in, so the run scores. And uh, that is going to be an RBI. For Garrett Anderson. With Finley scoring on it. And now the Angels have. What might be an insurmountable lead. But we'll see how, how much offense we can expect from this Houston team. Vlad Guerrero up. And he gets a 5-5. And that is a strikeout. And will be the third out. But, not before the Angels strike and get a second run in the second inning. And are now ahead 2 to nothing over Houston. And uh, you got to believe that this would be a huge advantage for the Angels. Because if they win this game, they're up three games to two. And then they're going back to California. But right now, Osmus is up and says he's going to have something to say about that. 4-6 is a strikeout, but right there he doesn't have much to say. So that's a strikeout, Lackey getting the K, throwing the gas, and Adam Everett, the shortstop, is up. He gets a 3-7, and that will be a single. So that's a base hit by the Houston shortstop. First hit allowed by Lackmaster, and that brings up Tavares. He gets a 2-6. That'll be a strikeout. So um, Lackey is just, he's coming out here throwing gas and not playing around. And the pitcher is up, and that's Oswald. They're going to keep him out there. 110 is going to be a strikeout. So Oswald strikes out, and Lackey strikes out the side, except for the guy that he uh, allowed to get a base hit. But they get no runs, and we're going to the third, and the score is still... 2 nothing, Angels. And Benji Molina is up, and that is going to be a 112, and that's a fly ball to right. He's out. So you got, you got yourself an F9 right there, and uh, that brings to the plate Darren Erstad. He gets a 1-7, and that's a single. Erstad is getting a base hit. You got to think that 
Garner is not going to stick with Oswald too long here. The leash is getting shorter with Cabrera up. And he gets a 412 with a ground ball B. So now Cabrera is the man at first base on the fielder's choice. And Finley is up. And that's a 6 8. And that is going to be a single double asterisk. So. Finley is two for two in this game. He is uncharacteristically good with the bat right now. And Macer as Turris is up and he gets a 6-8. And that is going to be a duck. They should not have pitched to him, but they, he gets a single double asterisk and knocks in another run. And uh, that will be um, the third run coming in. And now the Angels are just really pouring it on now. And uh, that brings to the plate Lackey. And of course they'll let him bat. And he gets a strikeout. But um, Oswald is just getting his butt handed to him here. Although it is only one run per um, inning so far. So And we've only played three. So... Or we're in the bottom of the third. So it's uh, it's still only 3 nothing. But Biggio is coming up and he gets a 4-8. And that's going to be a, a double. That, or no, a single. That's a single. It is a single. Biggio ripping the base hit. Second hit allowed by Lackey. And Berkman up. They got a good offense. But uh, can they make it work here? Strikeout. For Berkman and uh, Lackey striking out his fifth guy. fifth guy. One down, one on. Ensbird at the plate. Two five is a walk. Now they got two guys on. See um, this quick strike uh, Houston offense could, in theory, come very close to tying this game right here. Mike Lamb gets a two five. That's going to be a strikeout. They are going to miss uh, Jason Lane because he was a big producer for him when he was playing the other games of this series and the rest of the postseason. Orlando Palmero with two down gets a 4-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. So again, Lackey is throwing some serious heat out there, and he does shut the Astros down two no runs in the third and now we're going to the fourth we're moving along time is marching and it waits for no man and uh, Sean Figgins is up and he gets a 6-9 and that is going to be a strikeout so Sean Figgins with a strikeout leading off the fourth and he is their leadoff man only the third strikeout or yes only the third K for Oswalt Anderson's up. He gets a 4-6. That's a strikeout. So Oswald obviously wants to stay out there. He's trying to show Garner, hey, I'm reaching back. I got some extra stuff in the tank. 6-3, and that's a ground ball to first. Guerrero is out. And the Angels have their first zero inning as we go to the bottom of the fourth with Osmus up. The catcher, Osmus. And he gets a 4-8, uh, and that is going to be a, another single. That's single 1-11. to 11. That's a pesky single 1-11 to 11 right there. That's the yielded two hits to the Houston batters. And uh, But can Lackey shut him down again? We'll have to see. Adam Everett gets a 6-5. That's going to be a strikeout. Lackey. Lackey. That guy, that's his eighth strikeout already this game. Willie Tavares gets a 1-5, and he gets a strikeout. This is crazy. I mean, I've never seen Lackey this good, and I don't think in real life. All right, wait a minute. He had a no-hitter, didn't he? Did he have a no-hitter? Leave it in the comments. Let me know. Um, they are going to pinch hit for Oswald. They, uh, right here, they're going to call it, they're going to call it a game here for Oswald, and they are going to... Um, they're going to pinch hit with Bagwell. 
So I'm just going to write Bagwell in here. Bagwell pinch hitter in the fourth inning. And he gets a 5-5, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Bagwell got K'd, and it's a tenth strikeout for Lackey. Throwing the gas, and we're going to the fifth. And you know the uh, Astros have to come up with another pitcher. And that's pretty much not good for them, because they don't really have a really great bullpen. They are, in fact, going to bring in Russ Springer. Yes, he's the first guy I came to, but that's who it's going to be. So, Oswalt just goes, what did he go, four innings? Yeah, I think he went four innings. Four innings, he allowed seven hits, struck out four, but allowed uh, three earned runs. So, it wasn't a good outing for him. And uh, now you're going to have, uh, let's see, let's put these guys off to the side. And you're going to have Molina batting, leading off the fifth for the Angels. He gets a 1-6. That is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. So that's going to be a 5-3. to three. One away. Darren Erstad gets a 1-5. That's a single double asterisk. Doesn't really matter for the double asterisk portion of it because there was nobody on. But it is the first hit allowed by Russ Springer. And Orlando Cabrera gets a 6-9. And that is going to be a strikeout. So he strikes out. And that brings to the plate Steve Finley, who has 2-for-2 two two today. And he gets a 6-8. And that's going to be a strikeout. So, Springer comes on and he does the job. He does the job they needed him to do. We go to the bottom of the fifth and it is 3-0 in the bottom of the fifth with Houston batting and losing by the score of 3-0. With Biggio up and he gets a 4-3, that is going to be a fly to left field. The left fielder is a 3 and that is a 19. I'm going to guess that's probably a roll again. And it is. And that's a nine. That's going to be big time. That's a double. So, uh, and who was that that got the double? Tavares got the double. Or wait a minute. Are we already? No. No, that was Biggio. Yeah, Biggio got the double. And we are in the bottom of the fifth, right? Okay. So, uh, yeah, base hit allowed by Lackey, but that's not going to phase him. You know, that ain't going to phase him. No outs. Um, I believe that's where we are, yeah. And that brings up Lance Berkman, and he gets a 4-5, and that is a strikeout. So, Lackey is just out there throwing the smoke. Ensberg gets a 6-8. That is going to be a single. And let's see if they're going to send the guy. That is Biggio. And he is a running 12. They're not going to do that. They're going to let Biggio just go to third and stop there. There's only one out. Um, fifth hit allowed for Lackey. Lamb up. Gets a 2-5 and that's a strikeout. Lamb, you know, he's not a real good replacement for uh, Lane. They're going to have to work on that, maybe. See who else they can come up with. But now, there are still runners at the corners, but there is two outs. And Palmero up, and he gets a 6-5, and that's a strikeout. That 6-5 has come up so many times, evidenced by the fact that Lackey has 13 strikeouts on this game. And we're going to the top of the sixth where Lackey's teammates are going to try to go out there and get him a little bit more padding against Springer with his Tris, the batter. 3-7, that's going to be a pop-out to second base. So that's going to be a pop-out four. And that brings Lackey to the plate. And, of course, they will let him hit. 3-10, that's a ground ball third base. Five to three. 
and up steps the leadoff hitter, Sean Figgins. And he gets a 1-3. That's a ground out to second, 4-3. to three. And uh, Springer, leave it to Springer. I mean, he comes on, he's slamming the door on the Angels, but it's already 3 nothing going to the bottom of the sixth. And with Oswald coming up pretty soon, but right now it's Osmus here in the bottom of the sixth. And he gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. Osmus is a strikeout victim. The 14th strikeout victim, to be exact. Adam Everett gets a 4-4, and that's a ground ball to the second baseman, C. So that's going to be a 4-3. Uh, and, uh, and Willie Tavares is up. And he gets a 3-7, and they avoided having uh, having uh, Springer come up that game, that uh, inning. But he will be the leadoff hitter next inning, and you got to believe that he's going to be gone when that comes, when that happens. But we're going to the top of the seventh right now, people. Top of the seventh, three nothing Angels, and Garrett Anderson is the batter. And he gets a 3-5, which is going to be a single. And maybe they'll even knock him out earlier. Although, obviously, um, a scrap iron garner would try to avoid that. Guerrero is up 5-7. That's going to be a ground to the second baseman, but he's a 4. That's a 14 and a 4 at second base. And that is an out 1. Runner moves to second. So that is going to be uh, four to three for Guerrero and Molina is up. Molina gets a two nine. That is a ground ball to the shortstop, six to three, and up steps Erstad, and he gets a five ten, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. So that's going to be a. Uh, and F7, and Springer really did do his job. He held him right down. But now he's batting, and they can't afford to let him hit. So they are going to have to look for another pinch hitter. And they're going to go with Eric Bruntlett. Bruntlett will be the new pinch hitter. I'm going to write that dude right in there. And we're going to see what he can do here, if anything, to Lackey. And there's nothing he can do. It's a ground ball to the shortstop. Get him out of here. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, seventh inning. Yep. Um, six to three. One out. And up steps Biggio. Biggio gets a fly ball to left field. I have never seen, I don't think I've seen this Houston offense be quite this flat. But you knew Lackey was good. You knew he was good. I mean, he struck out 199 guys that year. Berkman gets a 6-8, and uh, that is going to be a single. So they do get a guy on. They've got a runner aboard. And, you know, Berkman's loving that after having struck out two consecutive times uh, to Lackey. And we'll see what Ensberg can do. That's a 3-4, though, and it's a ground ball, third base, 5-3, to three, out of the inning. We go to the top of the eighth inning. We're moving right along here, people. 3 nothing. Of course, it was 3 nothing after three innings, but it's still 3 nothing right now. And Orlando Cabrera will be facing a new pitcher because, of course, we had to pinch hit for Springer. So we got to find another guy. And uh, this time it's going to be Dan Wheeler. It's Dan Wheeler's turn on the hot seat. And I think he went, uh, Springer went three, didn't he? Yeah, I think he went three. He went three innings, he allowed two hits, no earned runs. And Cabrera is going to bat against him. Gets a 1-8, that's going to be a pop-out, pop-out to third base. 
one down. Steve Finley gets a 6-5. That is going to be a double. So they got the D, they got the Wheeler. They're jumping on Wheeler quick with a double. And now you got a man at second with one away. And his tourists up. And he gets a 2-6, which is a line out to first base. Two away. And, you know, they, they would be foolish to take him out. Sosha would be foolish to take Lackey out. So he's going to hit and he's going to get a strikeout. But as long as he gets the strikeouts on the other side, Sosha ain't going to care. So we got the bottom of the eighth coming up. Houston losing this game 3-0. They need some kind of a miracle to come up. Lamb is up right now and he grounds to first base. They do have to figure out a, a adequate um, substitution for Lamb because he is just not it. So he grounds out three, one away. But really the whole offense has been flat today. That's a 1-6. That's going to be a ground to short for Orlando Palmero. So he goes 6-3. to three. And now Osmus is up, and he gets a 5-9, and that is going to be a double. So Osmus ripping a double down the line, trying to give, get everybody to wake up here, wake up out of their stupor, not John stupor. And Adam Everett comes up, he gets a 6-8, that's going to be a single, and Osmus is a running 1-11, they can't afford to do it anyway, so they're not going to. And uh, Tavares is the batter. Willie Tavares. Two down. And it's a 6-10, which is a fly ball left field C. So that is going to be an F7. We go to the top of the ninth. And Wheeler is still out there. He gave up a, a double after the first batter he faced. The second one got a double. But we'll see if he's calmed down a little. 4-7. Come the heck down. Second base is a 4, and that is a 12. Let me see what that is. That's going to be an out. 4 to 3. So, um, Sean Figgins goes 4-3. And that brings up, and we are in the ninth. We're in the ninth, still 3 nothing. Anderson is up, 6-4. That is going to be a fly ball to left. So that's an F7. And it's amazing that three runs... First of all, it's amazing that they scored three runs in the first three innings and nothing since then. But that three runs is going to do it, it looks like. 5-11. And uh, that is going to be a round ball to the pitcher. He is a 2, and that is a 4. 4-2. Four I'm calling it a 4. It's a 4-2, and it's an out. So Vlad goes out. Uh... So, yeah, it's going to be one to three. No runs in the ninth. We go to the bottom of the ninth, and immediately we have to pinch hit for Wheeler. Lackey is obviously still out there. And we're probably at the point now where the Astros really don't have any good pinch hitters. Um, so, but we'll see. We'll see. They are going to go with... They're going to go with Jose Vizcaino. Jose Vizcaino is going, to, is going to bat, and he's going to get a strikeout. And you knew that. You knew Lackey was going to strike some more men out. That's the 15th strikeout for him. Bringing up Craig Biggio, and he gets a 4-12. Not a good thing. He's going to ground to the shortstop, who is a 2, and that is a 4, and I believe that's probably an out, and it is. So he goes 6-3, and uh, with two down very quickly here, you got Berkman, their last hope, and the last hope gets a walk. So the last hope is drawing a walk and trying to uh, fire up his teammates to say, hey, come on, we on we're only down by three. Enberg up at the plate. But that's going to be a ground to the second baseman. You knew it wasn't going to happen, not with the way they've been playing. And so, 
the Angels win this game and they take a 3-2 to two lead in the series, the winning pitcher was John Lackey, who went the distance, allowed seven hits, three walks, and struck out 15. And the loser was Oswalt, who only went four. He allowed seven hits and three earned runs. And the Angels end up winning this game by the score of 3 nothing. That's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.